Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to get started with the Python 8 Arrays and Lists worksheet. So it starts off, uh, you should have your Google Doc open and you need to pop in your name. I couldn't make that first step any easier for you. Uh, then it says read me first. It says you will need to use the Replit console for the following activities. This is the black box at the bottom left where you can type in a command and it runs as soon as you press enter. Okay, so when we get our instructions for uh, this task, we have to put everything for the first bits into this black box. Okay, and it goes on to say uh, the, exercise, the first exercise we're going to do is 8.1.1 on slices, which is on page 42 of the worksheet, which I happen to have beside me, and I should be able to bring up on the screen as well. Great, so... If uh, we're going to work through this, we need to look at this worksheet in a bit of detail. So it says, complete the steps in exercise 8.1.1, which says open the Python shell, or in this case we're going to use the Replit shell, and create a list of the months of the year. You can use abbreviations such as Jan, Feb, etc. And then it tells us we're going to go on to slice the list to create these results. What on earth does that mean? Well, unsurprisingly, we've got some examples here on how to slice lists in 8.1. Let's try doing this. Let's go to uh, Replit, like it says. And it tells us we've got to do our work down in this little box down here. So we'll do that. And it wants us to make a list for the months of the year. So let's call it months. And it's a list, so we have to do... Well, it's a variable, so we give it a name, months. We're going to assign a value, so we do equals. And then we're assigning a list, so we open it with square brackets. And inside the list are going to be strings, one for each of the months of the year. So Jan, Feb, Ma, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November, no, October, haha, November, December, and that should be all the months of the year. And we can press enter. And that's now initialized that variable with that list. And we could show it if we wanted to just by typing months. And there's our uh, months of the year. So then it goes on to say the first thing we have to do is to slice, slice the list to create these results. And the first set of results just are Mar, April, well, March, April, May, June, July, August. So that's giving us the third month through to the eighth month. And uh, well, how are we going to do that? Well, up here we've got an example saying how to select items in a list from index position one up to, but not including index position four, we would put one to four. But of course, index position one is actually the second item in the list because lists all start at zero. For example, if I typed months zero, I'd get January. Okay, so if we wanted to get March to August, then we're going to need to go from 0, 1, 2 through to 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, because of course it tells us here that it goes up to but not including the final number. So let's try it. Months, and I could either do 0 to 8. Oh no, hang on, sorry, we want it from. March, so that's 2 to 8. And this should work. March, April, May, June, July, August. Great, we've done that first one. Fantastic. Okay, uh, let's do the next one. It wants January, February, March, April. So this is just the first four items. Um, so, which is index 0, uh, index 1, index 2, index 3. So if we do months nothing to 4, it will go up to, but not including, index 4, which gives us January, February, March, April. Okay. If we'd done months nothing up to 3, it would give us up to, but not including, index 3. And index 3 is the fourth thing, so that's April. So it would just give us January, February, March. But we don't want that. We want up to April. 
Okay, next it wants all the months, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, but not December. So we're going to want months up to month 12, but not including, which would, no, that gives us all the months, sorry, up to month 11, but not including because it's index position uh, 11. That's one way, but there's an easier way we could do it. We could actually go up to the end of uh, the list minus one. So you can go months from the start, so from we don't need to put that in, up to all but one. And that also does it. And that's an easier way because we don't actually need to know how many items are in the list. We just know we want to go up to the penultimate item. So we can use minus one as for that. Uh, and then the last thing it asks us is July, August, September, October, November, December. Well, that's the last one, two, three, four, five, six items. So we could do the same. You can go up to the last six. That's given us... Ah, no, that's the wrong way around. Sorry, that's given us nothing up to the last six. As in the start up to the sixth. Whereas actually, I got that wrong. We want to start at... The, the last sixth through to the end. July, August, September, October, November, December. Yeah, so that's how it works. So again, we can do, so just to talk you through that again, we've done months, which is the name of the list. Our starting place is sixth from the end, uh, all the way to the end. Well, if it's just the end, we don't need to specify that value. We can just leave it blank. And there you go. If we had wanted... Uh, the, f the last three months, we could have done months uh, starting with the, la the third from the end through to the end. Yep, and it would work like that. And indeed, that's one of the questions it goes on to ask. So uh, let's check out our worksheet. What does it say? Put a screenshot of your evidence for tasks one and two in the box below. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to need to go back to Replit and we're going to need to take some screenshots so I can make that a bit bigger and on a Mac I can just do shift control command 4 if you're on Windows you can use Snagit and I'm going to screenshot that and I'm going to paste it in and I might just make that a bit smaller so it doesn't take up the whole of the page it should still be I can still read that and it says here we've got some questions well, what happens if you type each of the following? Show a screenshot of your output. Uh, so months up to, from the beginning, up to minus eight. All right, let's just clear the screen. Months, oops, spelt it right. From the beginning up to minus eight. Uh, well, that gives us the start, January, February, March, April, up to the eighth from the end. Okay, so let's screenshot that and drop that in and the second one it asks us to do is what about if we do months um, minus three to the end where well, it should give us uh, from no it's the third from the end to the end so this should give us October, November, December so let's try that yeah and again we can screenshot that and paste it in and make it a little bit smaller so it's not so massive if you're on a Mapper Pro with Retina display you'll get really large screenshots it says what can you learn about slicing lists from the outcomes of these commands well uh, I think this is all to do with we can slice them uh, based on how far an item is from the end of the list so you can use negative numbers to specify items, uh, speci oops, specify um, items based on their position relative to the end of a list. For example, uh, and then we can use these examples: months, nothing minus eight uh, gave the months from the start of the list up to the 8th 
from the end. And let's just fix these spellings. There we go. And that's the first exercise done. Nice and easy. Um, you should be able to go through now and do the other exercises. So 8.2.1, um, which is here, again asks you, you've got to copy out the code basically and run it yourself and screenshot evidence that you've got each one working. And then for 8.10.1, you've got to give examples of all of these different steps. So multiplying lists, inserting items into the list, adding items to the uh, to a list, uh, onto the end of the list, um, checking whether something's in the list, finding the length of a list, deleting an item from a list, sorting a list, and reversing a list. So this exercise is to basically do all of those different activities with a list in the shell and screenshot each one, pasting it into the table in the relevant places. Once you've done that, uh, then we actually have to go into Replit and you're going to be following, rather than doing things directly in the console, you're going to be writing code following the instructions uh, from there to the end. And at various times, you will have to copy your code and screenshot your program's output and put it into Google Docs because as you work through the activity, you are going to be changing uh, the code. So you'll write it once, get it working a bit, screenshot it, then you'll go back and you'll amend it, fix it, screenshot it again, then you'll make some more changes, screenshot it again, and so on. So it's important that you do that so that each stage you can prove what you've done uh, and how your program's developed. Okay, so hopefully you'll find it actually very easy to fulfill the requirements of this worksheet. And once you've done that, um, the exercises, yeah, 11... 8.11.2 should be quite self-explanatory. Um, 8.11.3 is a little bit more advanced, um, but you have done everything you need to, to do in order to finish it. Uh, you will probably need to go over functions and procedures again, um, but all, all the worksheets that you need are available to you on Classroom, so it shouldn't be too difficult for you to manage. Uh, so good luck and uh, work hard. Stay focused. That is key.